Hello and welcome to this video from Maker.io. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the project that we constructed this month, which is a simple IoT post button. So this project is made up of three parts. The first part being a simple PHP website with a PHP submit page and a data variable .html file. The second part is a particle photon connected to a button. And the third part is a particle photon mounted to a relay shield. The website, which can be hosted on most free web hosting services, has a simple submit.php file, which takes a single variable and then saves that variable to an external .html file called data variable.html. This page is accessed by a particle photon, which is connected to a button such that upon pressing the button, the particle photon sends a post HTTP message to the web server containing the desired state of the light, or in this case, the buzzer. A second particle photon is connected to a relay shield, which in turn controls a mains powered light. In this case, it's a buzzer. This photon constantly makes HTTP GET requests on the data variable file, and this request is then passed to extract the light state. One of the major advantages of the particle photon is the ease of portability, only requiring a USB port for power. This could be provided from a standard USB charger, which allows the post device to be mounted almost anywhere and provide wireless switching of devices for ease of access. Now, lights and buzzers are just a handful of devices that you can control using relays as shown here. But always remember to check the current and voltage ratings of your relays against the voltage and current ratings of the devices you intend to control. Remember that handling mains voltages is a very dangerous task and should only be done by those who are competent and qualified to do so. If you are not able to do such work, then as an alternative, you can control voltages up to 24 volts with ease and power safer devices such as LED floodlights, USB devices and other circuits. Well, that's all we have time for today in this episode. So thank you for watching and see you next time.